Oh, hello, my friends. Are you ready to continue being scared in only the way that virtual reality can scare you as we enter the bellows? I don't know why this game is called that. I, I don't think we'll find out. So, we're playing another PSVR game. It is The Bellows. This is a very short, um, let's call, let's call it horror experience. I use the word experience, I think, for soul dimension. And I think it's a word I'll end up being, I'll end up using a lot in lieu of game. I, this is an experience. Okay, this is how we control it. Um, I can look there. And then I press the X button to select. There we go. And I can, yeah, reset my position. Please, re please reset now. There we go. Button below to go to main menu. Here we go. Alright, now we're going to enter the scares. So, the bellows is described as basically sort of, um... Interactive horror movie experience, let's say. I'm not really... Not really gonna call it a game. Oh, but we got, like, a nice environment. We got, like, a computer... No, like an old CRT TV in the back behind me. In front of me, got my options. I can use the dual shocks or I can use the moves. I am going to use the dual moves, of course. Um, we have part one, Ghost Manor, part two, Hospital. So we're going to do both. And it's really not going to take long. It's surprisingly short. Motion sickness vignette uh, on. I, I will keep it on just in case I feel the motion sickness. Uh, let's start off with the Bellows Part 1. Ghost Manor using the moves. Would I like to play the tutorial? You know, sure. Why don't, why don't you see what the tutorial is all about? So you get an idea of what the gameplay is like, what the uh, interaction is like here. And honestly, this game is so short, we might as well go through the, t go through the tutorial. Use the move button. Oh, hold on. There are my moves. Yeah, here we go. I like it. I like the um, the moves being rendered in the game. It's like the, the other controllers I'm holding in my hand, just like last time with Soul Dimension. It rendered the DualShock. This time, it's rendering the moves. Yep, I can tell that they're in the, the same place they are in real life. You can hear them hitting against each other. He hear that? It's like, these are the real moves in my hand, even though they are fake devil lie moves. These are lies! I'm holding the real truth moves, but these are lies you're seeing in front of, the, in front of you. Virtual lies. Okay, use the move button to move movement directions determined by pointing the left move. Try moving into the smoke. Uh, okay, there is smoke right there. Point at it, press the move button. Boom. Done. Press a, a, a square and triangle to rotate camera in 30 degree increments. Like that. So I can do sh these sharp turns instead of, you know, actually turning around with my human body. With my real meat body. Not going to do any of that. We're just going to do like this. Virtual turning. Oh. Oh. My hands are backwards. Sometimes that happens kind of a lot, actually. End up picking up the wrong moves. Okay. Use controller to interact with blue highlighted objects. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Can squeeze my fingers together. Okay. Uh, blue highlighted objects. Press and hold circle to go back to menu. Okay, so I'm going to point at that and I'm going to walk towards it. I want this. Well, use controller to interact with blue. There we go. There we go. Just wasn't quite on it. Okay, holding up a lantern in front of me. Everything's going dark. We're done with the tutorial. That's about the speed of the gameplay we've got in The Bellows. It'll be very frightening. I wouldn't lie to you about that. Scares are going to happen. Soul Dimension really didn't have too much in the way of scares, but uh, the Bellows... Well... We're in a house. Much like many houses we've been in. Hold on. Let me walk over here. It wants me to walk here. Let's look outside. Yeah, open this window. Get a good look at it. It's thundering outside. 
I think there's someone sitting in that, seeing that bench and that they're gone. Yeah, I see you. You're right there. You see me too. All right. Well, we got some someone mysterious figure standing outside. Yo, yeah, hold on. Let me uh turn. There we go. This is very dark. And that makes it frightening. It's more lit up down there. Can we go down there? I suppose we... Oh, hold on. I think there's something in front of me blocking the way. It's hard to see. Let's just go with the old tried and true of... It's lit up down there, so I am going to stick my hand out, press the move button, and we're heading down that direction. So I am walking just whatever direction I'm holding this out. Not the direction I'm turning. My head. Which actually, that's I think that's better. To control motion that way instead of with head turning. Oh, hold on. Ghosts. Absolutely ghosts. How, can, how else can you explain how these things move the way they did? Hmm. Alright, let me... Okay. Clearly. Ah, oh, the lights went out. Well, I was going to go through that door, but... Oh. Oh, there is a light source. You can see the shadow of my hands. Nothing else because the rest of my body does not exist in virtual space. All right. Oh, that went away. I guess I'm not going through that door. I guess I'm going to head down that way. This time I have a light source, though. Oh. Definitely ghosts. What else could it be? Uh, let me just make sure that I'm using the, um, the move buttons to turn instead of turning my real body, because, like with Soul Dimension, we want to make sure that I'm facing the camera, otherwise the moves are going to get blocked. And that's no good for anyone. Sort of a railing, but there's nothing on the other side of that railing. Seems like... I don't know why we would have a railing. It's not like that was going to the outside or anything. Hmm. You know, the, the demonic pictures you hang on your wall? As you do? When you own a haunted house? If, if you own a haunted house, it's your responsibility to fix it up just... Just right. You don't want to have normal decor. You want to have the demonic pictures that the ghost can knock off the walls. Why is it darkened when I move and then lights up when I'm still? Is that supposed to happen? I don't know. I know that's not supposed to happen. That's just ghosts right there. I can't, uh... No, I, I can smack it around a little bit. Oh, something happened down there. Didn't actually think I'd be able to interact with that thing at all, but I can. What about this? Ugh. Ugh. Actually, it did wiggle a little bit when I hit it. Not much. A little bit. Ugh. Yeah, there it goes. Interaction is nice in VR. You want to feel that you can have some kind of effect on the world. Ugh. Even if it's not much. At least it's something. Ah, so... Not sure what I'm looking at over there. We got this railing right here, and then, uh... What would you say we're looking at right there? You know? I, I find that indescribable, and that's a good thing. It's... Not common when you see something indescribable. But I really can't say what I would describe that wall over there. I'm not sure what's happening. There's like some kind of movement. It's close by to me, but I can't tell what that is. If there was more light, then maybe. But as it is, I really can't tell. I do see there is like a, a couch floating around. Well... Let's continue on. Oh no, that fell. Uh, hold on. 
Can I see what's down there? Uh, I'm not sure. It's just too dark to really see anything. Oh, I see someone walking around down there. Well, maybe we'll run into him as we go. You know, it's kind of a simple thing, but I kind of like the sensation of actually holding the lantern up as I go and like, huh? Hmm? Just hold it up to try to see what's in front of me? Doesn't work too well because the lantern just casts light around me. It doesn't really cast light in front of me. But you kind of instinctively like hold it up like this. Yeah. That's a picture that you'd see in a haunted house. Oh! Goodness. Can I... You know... I don't really feel confident in bending down to the floor because I'll probably move off the range of the camera, but I would try to pick that up. I doubt I'd be able to. Probably should just move on. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's that hand silhouette right there. That's something you'd hang up in a house. Hmm? Oh, did we just Silent Hill it? We kind of Silent Hilled it a little bit. It was like the door behind me turned into a wall. Everything is kind of dirty and uh, sort of beige-ish. And now we're back. Does the lantern keep me in this plane of reality? Can I light this candle? Doesn't seem like it. Does not seem like it. Can I, like, grab that? No, I mean, I can smack it, but... Doesn't seem like I can grab it. Glass shattering. Watch out, watch out for my feet. Don't... Hmm? Well, I heard a sound. It seemed like something I should pay attention to. I didn't actually see anything. It's dangerous to smack this glass around. It's very sharp. Very sharp. Don't want to cut myself. Alright, and here we have um, a classic design of an old house, an old manor. The window between the hallway and the bathroom. You don't see that in modern houses. That's uncommon, but in these old uh, Victorians, it's a common thing to have a window from the bathroom to the hallway. It was considered bad manners to not actually have that, like you were trying to hide something. Also, the window that leads to the, uh, the operating room that you have in your house. With the man that vanishes from the, and, and reappears in that, yeah. Old, uh, old style architecture. It's classic. Ah, now we're going into a, an operating room. Must be a different one because the hallway didn't lead into the room we just saw. Hmm, I can't move anymore. Oh, hello. Gasp. A man walking away from me. The room is kind of spreading out. And darkening. I can't see anything around me. Oh, there's something. Oh. Well, I don't see that person behind me, but that person is showing up in... Oh, in the mirror. And that's, uh... That's, uh, episode one. That... Yeah, that's it. You kind of walk around the house, and you walk into that room, and a guy kind of smacks you. I guess I didn't get a good look at him, but he was walking at me through uh, in the mirror. 
but he wasn't actually there in the room. You know, he was invisible, but I could see him in the mirror. And then he kind of, I don't know, kind of grabbed me or smacked me in the face. I'm not sure. And that's the end of that. Now we're in uh, the second one, which is the hospital. So not, you know, not much in the way of story or anything in The Bellows. It's just kind of... It's a short horror experience. Not really any any puzzle solving or nothing. It's just kind of a... Uh, well, you saw. <laughs> you know, I didn't get a good look at that guy, but to try to give the benefit of the doubt to the developers, it is difficult to predict where the player is going to be looking in VR. Because you can't really force the player to be looking anywhere. Like, if I want to turn my head, I can do that. So, they couldn't have really have predicted, I think, that I would just turn away from the man in the mirror and not get a good look at him. Ah, oh, hello. Well, that opened up. I can't interact with the doors. Like, I can't grab that and open it. It's just not what the bellows is about. Can't do it. No, you can't. What we can do is walk around with this lantern. And be afraid. Be very afraid. I don't know if the ghosts are helping me. Like, they stopped me from heading down here until that large man walk, basically chased down that smaller man. Doesn't really seem like I'm uh, being terrorized by ghosts, but rather by possibly men with bad intentions. It's kind of hard to tell. Like I said, I don't really think there's a story here. Hmm. Oh. Someone's going to have to fix that. Uh, no? Can't interact with that pipe? Can't do it. No, I cannot. Hmm. That man was being dragged away into that door. This isn't moving. Ghosts? Little help here, ghosts? Does not seem like I'm going to get help by the ghosts, so I'm going to have to turn around and go somewhere else. I hope the movement, like, doing this, I hope that looks fine on the video. Like, I, that's that's there, because some players, uh, for some players, it's easy to get motion sickness if you have smooth turning. And like I said, I like to just turn with my actual body, but uh, technical limitations and all. Down here, there's a blue key. I do not have a key. Gotta go find one. Can't see what's down there. I also can't move any faster than this. Can't go through that curtain. That curtain is like solid metal. Ah, a stall is open. What's inside? Well, filthy toilet, as they always are. And my hand has turned into a key. How grotesque. Oh, okay. Thanks. It's like an automatic door that opens. When you're, when you're done with the stall, it just opens up and you just let you out. Oh, I heard a sound. Was there something scary? Was there something scary in this room? Because I heard a sound. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, did he just fall out? I completely missed that. Anyway, he's a security guard. 
He was behind the curtain. He does not look like he's doing too good. I don't think my key or my lantern is going to help him out. So, I guess we're just going to go on our way. All right, key hand, do your job. There we go. It's sort of picture you have hung up in a hospital, as you do. I guess I should go in the door. Oh, there's that large man. What's he up to? For such a large, slow-moving man, he does vanish pretty quickly. Hmm. Alright, what we got here? Well, there's nothing I can interact with. Got some mannequin heads, and... Don't know if... Can I grab the tongue? I cannot grab the tongue. Got something here. I can't do anything with it. Not a whole lot you can interact with in the bellows, unfortunately. If I could, I would just pick that head up and take it on my way. Uh, that's unfortunate. That fellow seems like he's having a bad time in there. Can I stick my lantern in there and see what's happening? Doesn't seem like it. I can stick it in there. I can get a little bit more light on the subject. Another fun thing about VR, how is the developer supposed to stop you from sticking your hand out like that? They can't, really. Or at least they haven't figured it out yet. Not until next generation VR, when they come with... Restraints. They have to, eventually, or we're never going to get to Lawnmower Man. And that's the goal, right? It's the goal of VR. Oh. Well, this was an elevator. Can't get in there, though. And the light went out, so... There's a switch. But this... The ghosts made this come out. I can't get to the switch. I'm gonna have to find another way around to get to that switch. Here's a button, but... Yeah, nothing happened. Nothing is happening. Ah, what's going on here? Does he have anything for me? It doesn't seem like it. I can't move, like, the, um, the armor or anything. Hello? No one home. Hmm. Well... Guess I'm not going to get through there. Is there something I need to do with this guy? It doesn't seem like it. I mean, there's not much in the way of interaction here. Oh, wait, wait. I, yeah, little hallway down here. Hmm. My lantern went out. And what's that down there? Why, that's just too many hands. You wouldn't have this many hands coming out of one of these. Look at this. Look at these grabby hands. All right, hold on, hold on. Give me some skin. Uh. Come on, give it to me. Uh. Uh. There we go. See, they just, they just want some attention. Don't always assume the worst of... of hands coming out of nowhere. They might surprise you. Oh, hold on. That's where we should go. Some Here's a light source. Let me get that switch. Yeah, 
pull the pull. The, yeah, there we go. Pull the switch. I'm gonna take that as thank you for pulling the switch. Cause I'm still alive. Like and that that person did not hurt me. That person just got up close to me and tried to say thank you, restoring the power. My lantern is still not on though. But there is light in here. Also, there is no inner door in this elevator, and that's very unsafe. You really do want to have an inner door on that. But this is an old hospital, so maybe it just doesn't follow. Maybe it just doesn't follow modern safety regulations. Anyway, we're in the uh, catacombs, as you have under a hospital. And what's going on in there? Oh, looks like the big man met a bigger man. Can I light this on this candle? Oh, um, I guess. Like, it's on. I don't know if that just happened automatically or what. So now that we are in the catacombs, are we going to f uncover the secrets of, um... Whatever it is we're doing here? Or would having some kind of premise just get in the way of the horror? Because that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that's the case. Huh. It's just like a big worm. We, on, we in Dune all of a sudden? I don't know what worms have to... But the spice, the spice must flow, I realize that. But what does it have to do with this hospital? Well, there's the hole. There's that guy. I mean, I guess I don't feel bad for him because it seemed like he was killing some people, but... Like, I don't know what anyone's story is here. Hmm. Some kind of chapel, perhaps. I think I ruined that moment. Sorry. Uh, I was had I was walking forward during that time. I think I was. I think that when that person, when the the big man appeared, I was supposed to have stopped in fright, and then he would have walked up in front of me and roared. And um, that's the perspective we were supposed to have. I kept walking forward, so he walked through me, and I don't. I'm going to guess you couldn't really see anything of what was happening. He roared at me, and there were like a lot of men in black spandex crawling on the walls, is, is, is what happened there. And that's the end. So, yeah, that was part one. Part two, that's the whole thing. There's not much to it. Um, I, meh, I don't know. I kind of liked, uh, like I said, I kind of like just holding the lantern up in front of me. The hand motion to the moves worked fine. Not really any interaction with anything, though, which was, a, you know... Now, it wasn't really a game. It was just walk around in the dark. It seems like the kind of thing that you would, um... You would use to introduce someone to VR to say, hey, you want to say... Want to play something scary in VR? Here's this half-hour thing where you're gonna walk around holding this lantern in this manner and this hospital and this... There's not going to be any kind of challenge or anything because games are hard in VR when you actually have to do anything that requires dexterity. I guess that's it. 
As for what the story was, um, you know, we really never found out anything about a story. So I am going to guess, I'm going to make up my own ending here. I'm going to assume that when I met that large monster man in the catacombs, that um, he was just lonely. He was just looking for a friend. He killed that one guy because that one guy was killing other people. But the big monster man just wanted a friend. So, uh, you know, we met. And when he roared, it was his way of saying hello. We made friends. We ordered some pizza and had a pizza party with all the men in the black spandex who were crawling on the walls. And that's my canon ending to the bellows. Maybe we invited that guy from the end of part one who smacked me in the face, who came out of the mirror. Maybe we invited him. I'm not sure. But um, that's how I believe the bellows ended with a pizza party, because there was no reason to believe anything bad about the monster man. He just was misunderstood at all, as all. And of course, we invited the three arms. Of course, we invited the three arms. They were high-fiving people all night, so... That's the bellows. That's how that went. That's how that ended. Um, kind of different from Soul Dimension, in which Soul Dimension was, as I said, sort of a morose story about sad people. This just goes straight for no story at all, but how about you walk around in the dark and scary things happen? How about you just do that? And, uh, and that's, yeah, that's what happened in the bellows. I, mm, I don't know. You kind of get to the end of it and you say, oh, that's it, huh? That's all this was? Well, okay. It, oh, okay. That was the bellows for PSVR. I hope you were very afraid. That banging on the piano was very scary as well. I hope you were afraid of that. <laughs>